The elusive terror suspect known as the man in the hat is under arrest. Mohamed Abrini was detained yesterday after a raid in Belgium. Today, authorities say Abrini confessed to being the third attacker seen in surveillance video at the airport in Brussels where 16 people were killed on March 22nd. Abrini is also linked to the attacks in Paris last November that killed 130 people. Jonathan Vigliotti has more. Mohamed Abrini's confession not only gives a face to the man under the hat, it also reveals a terror cell authorities say was responsible for both the Brussels bombings and the attacks in Paris last November. Police say Abrini was seen photographed alongside Salah Abdesalam, the only surviving Paris attacker, two days before those plans were carried out. Abrini's fingerprints were found inside this car and also inside this Brussels apartment where the airport attackers made their bombs. Faced with the evidence, Abrini admitted he is the man at the airport walking with the two suicide bombers. Abrini's arrest comes after authorities released surveillance video asking the public to identify the then unknown suspect. These clips detailed Abrini's escape route. He told police he threw away his jacket and sold his now infamous hat. In all, six terror suspects were arrested in a series of raids around Brussels Friday. Among them, Osama Krayem of Sweden, also known to police as Naim El Hamed, seen in this Facebook photo standing in front of an ISIS flag. Police say Krayem was seen buying the bags used in the Brussels subway bombing. According to international law enforcement sources, Krayem, like Abrini, played a supporting role in the Paris attacks. Sources say he entered Europe in September of last year through Greece. Two months later, he rented the hotel rooms for the Paris attackers. Both Abrini and Crayon have been charged with terrorist murder. Two others were released, and today police continued their raids. Elaine, the question tonight, how many other cells are out there? Jonathan, thank you.